Hi guys, Ross here and welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make this scribble effect in Adobe Illustrator. So without further ado, let's jump straight into the video and I'll show you how it's done. So I'm just going to start off by deleting this and we're going to come over to the toolbar on the left hand side and just grab the type tool. I'm just going to type in scribble for the sake of the video today. So just like that. And I'm going to get the move tool, which is at the top of the toolbar, or you can press V on your keyboard. And then I'm going to come down to my alignment panel at the right hand side and just center it. So what you actually want to do is get rid of both the fill and the stroke, so you won't be able to see it now. So if we just come down to the bottom left, have our fill selected and just press this box with the line going through it. And do the same for stroke if you have a stroke applied. We're then going to come over to our appearance panel. And by the way, if any of these panels aren't appearing, you can simply go up to Window and just find them under this list and make sure they are ticked. So come over to our Appearance panel, we're going to press those lines in the top right hand corner and we're going to press Add New Fill and then we're going to press Add New Stroke. So the first thing we want to do is apply the scribble effect to our fill. So make sure we have Fill selected and we're then going to come up to Effect, Stylize and scribble. Now make sure you have preview selected in the bottom left hand corner it won't be selected by default I don't think and yeah you can already see that we are starting to get the sketch effect so I've got some settings here that you can copy if you want but really it's gonna depend on what you're working on so so yeah feel free to jot these down but also play with them as well to achieve different effects so as you can see just altering these settings slightly is gonna give it a completely different look um, I might actually just adjust that a tiny bit. I might make that minus one and then variation, leave that really small. I'll leave that about three maybe. Stroke width, I'm gonna leave it two. If I change it to one, it's gonna be really thin. But again, it all depends on personal preference and the kind of look you're going for. So if I just put that up to three, that is quite thick then. Um, but it does make it stand out, but I think I am gonna leave it at two for now. So you can play with these settings, but I'm just gonna hit okay for the video's sake and we can now apply a stroke so if we just click off this a second so if I just hide the stroke and you can see we have a really cool sketch effect already you can always apply a stroke which is what we're going to do now so I'm going to change this back to a black color and I'm going to change the point to 2 and this can all be done within the appearance panel as you're seeing right now and we're going to come up to effect making sure you have your stroke layer selected in the appearance panel come up to effect and go to distort and transform and go to roughen so what this is actually going to do is it's going to kind of make it all bumpy as you can see we don't want it that exaggerated so we're going to come down and we're going to make the size really really small so we're going to make it about 0.3 maybe and you can see it just makes it a bit bumpier it gives it more of a handwritten appearance basically and we can bump the detail down a bit as well um, maybe put this down to like five and there we go change the points from corner to smooth and that's just gonna give it a smoother appearance and actually now we've changed that we can probably bump the size up a bit so let's try 0 0.5 and see how that looks uh, maybe we could even go higher let's say one yeah we'll leave it at one and then leave the detail at five and I'm just going to hit OK. So yeah, now we have a stroke applied to it. And there's one last thing we can do which is going to make it a lot quicker for if you want to apply this effect to other objects. So if we just make sure we have everything selected in the appearance panel. So I don't actually need this stroke here, so I'm just going to delete that. Uh, so I'm going to make sure I have stroke selected and fill selected. So if you hold command or control on PC um, and you can select both of them. So we're then going to come over to graphic styles, which is in the panel next to appearance for me. But again, if it's not showing, come up to window and you can select it from the drop down menu. And then making sure we have those two selected in the appearance panel, come over to graphic styles and hit this new graphic style button next to the bin icon. And that is now going to make a preset, which we can use to apply to other things. So if I just quickly make a new text, uh, call this sketch and we just move it in. And if I now just press that graphic style, that's going to turn it into that scribble effect with just one click. So that's how you create a scribble effect in Adobe Illustrator. And all these are still vectored, so you can scale them up to any size that you want. And that makes them really versatile. So thanks for watching guys, I hope you found the video helpful. And if you did, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you're not already so you don't miss out on any future content. Thanks for watching and I will catch you in the next video.